Hello everybody and welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Um, today we are going to be starting the 100 baby challenge. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing this challenge at any point but I decided that I'm bored and I want to give it a try again. Um, I remember last time I tried to do it, I got mad because my game glitched out and Travis Scott got trapped in my house and wouldn't leave. So yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, we are going to be playing it with Miss Camden Escobar here. Um, if you didn't see her create a sim, I will link it in a card. Um, otherwise you can find it on my channel. So... If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure they're, like, I didn't actually look at the rules before I created Camden, um, but I'm pretty sure there isn't any specific aspiration or, um, what's it called, um, traits that she is supposed to have. Let me just double check, though, however, as I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so the objective is to give birth to a hundred children in as few generations as possible, which is fine. Um, create a sim to start with. She is called the matriarch, a young adult a sim eligible to give birth. Cannot have any other sims in her household to start out with. Can have any preferred physical appearance and personality traits. Um cannot be moved into any lot that costs beyond the 2000, 2000 simoleon starter fund active household can be moved to any lot as long as they can afford it without cheats active household cannot be merged with another household and lots from the gallery are allowed as long as the active household can afford them okay so we do need to set my lifespan to normal because that is not where it's at right now because i prefer to play with the long lifespan um so I'm going to have to remember in my other game saves to change it back because I don't like normal. But for this specific save file, we do need to have it on normal. Um, I don't have any mods to give me eight sims or any mods for custom furniture that would make like a an energy 10 bed more effective or like cheaper than any other... Um, babies cannot be aged up until the player gets a notification. Um, not this one saying it's almost their birthday. It has to actually be their birthday. Toddlers can be aged up when they reach level three in all of their skills. Children and teens can be aged up after they get an A in school. Um, okay, so I'm not going to go through all of the rules because there are a lot. Um, I will, however, post a link to them in the description if you guys want to try the challenge. If you don't already, if you don't already have the rules, but right now, um, I'm gonna go through really quick what I did for the house here. So I played around with platforms and created a little sunken living room area with an easel. There is a small little kitchenette over here. Um, I did put in a bathtub for shower combo for the bathroom just because I know toddlers do require a bathtub. Um, the only room that I put a bed in was Camden's because I didn't feel like we need children's rooms at the moment. Um, as you can see, the lot value is under 20,000 simoleons. I didn't really use all of our starting funds. I did, however, use some of them to put some random trees down because the lot looked really empty but um other than that there isn't really much so um to get started with uh camden has the super parent trait or aspiration um only because i figured since we're doing the 100 baby challenge we i want to stick with like all the family aspirations to <laughs> to start off with so as you can see we also too that we've already completed this first level of become an adult um we do need to spend a thousand dollars on kids stuff but that'll come with you know having children um so fame is off because i don't play with it unless it otherwise necessary um so her traits are perfectionist romantic family oriented and domestic from the aspiration, and then her, 
custom traits that come with, I believe it's the Wonderful Women's Mod, are caregiver, which means she's driven by her empathy and compassion to protect and care. Unfortunately, others can exploit her good nature for their own ends. And the lover, which means she craves intimacy um, and lives to experience pleasure and is passionate. Nonetheless, her desire to in- evoke love in others, with her desire, sorry, to invoke love in others, she risks losing her own identity and appears shallow. Um, it hasn't given her a personality yet, but that'll come eventually, I'm going to assume. So, we're going to get started here. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to start painting because that's going to be where the bulk of our money comes from um because she is not allowed to have a job but she does need skills so um there's that (laughs) um what are some of the things she wants to leave a note for someone from being family oriented and have a water balloon fight from the summer season oh so yeah we're in summer right now because i figured it started in summer um she's being analyzed to get a personality so, I believe, and I don't think I had the welcome wagon yet, because I did, I because uh, I'm not sure what happened if I did, did it to where, no, because I think all I did was build, so I don't think I've had the welcome wagon yet, so hopefully we get the welcome wagon soon, and we can maybe find potential baby daddy number one um so i am gonna keep track in a notebook the different baby daddies and who their kids are so that we don't have children with the same person twice um i might do what little simsy used to do with her hundred baby challenge and take pictures of each of the kids um before they move out to kind of document that they've you know, been in the family, um, I haven't quite decided yet, but I do know, though, that I'm going to keep track of their names in a notebook, because I will surely forget, um, then something else that I wanted to do was kind of do an A through Z type thing, because I've noticed that for Lil Simsy, it seemed to work, because she was able to keep track better of each of her children, Oh, and this was an excellent, so now she's embarrassed. Um, uh, do we want to list it on? No, we'll just sell it to a collector. Uh, maybe we'll get the knitting, like a knitting basket, and she can knit too, and we can sell all that stuff on Plopsy. I'm not sure, though. Not like that, I'm not sure about that, but maybe we'll get that. Um, I'm not 100% sure, though, she's going to get the welcome wagon right now which is weird because she should get it because she hasn't met anyone yet maybe it's just because there's no one around here but i feel like the delgados would come because no one lives here and this lot's empty oh there it is welcome to the neighborhood all right, so, yeah, so we got Justin Delgado over here. Um, Invite him in. He can be baby daddy number one. <laughs> oh, wait, who is, who's this? Oop, whoa, why are you under the bridge? Oh, that's his wife, Supriya. Um, let's see. Let's just be friendly with him for right now. Um, oh, and it hasn't fully finished analyzing her just yet. Oh, we got another 35 minutes. We're not even going to talk to his wife. We're actually going to kick her out so that just in case we try to. Oh, did I put lot traits? Because those could help. Because it doesn't, I don't think we have rules against those. So we're definitely going to do this one. Because it'll make it easier to talk to people. And we'll do the romantic one. And then we'll do on a ley line so that when we go to have woohoos and try for babies. Um, oh, it exited the... Well, you can go bye-bye. No, don't don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. It'd be flattering. He's not allowed to leave. I don't want him to leave. 
I just wanted his wife to leave. Ugh. Um. Let's see. I don't want to be like start going in too fast, but I didn't mean to cancel the welcome wagon. <laughs> All right. Let's ask about his career. Let's gossip about the neighbors. We can share our insecurities. We'll mention our selfless generosity. Um, um, ask if he wants kids. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't already. Have, well, no, actually, I think he has kids. With what's her name? Um, ask him about his children. Um, he has a parent, yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure he's a parent. Um, what's a... Let's see if being funny helps. Um, joke about politicians. Oh, he's family-oriented, just like us. Um... I have the hiccups and I can feel him. And he's got the stupid eyebrow eyeball ring on. Ugh. And now my eyeballs are watering. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying to like think of stuff for her to talk about with him to kind of get their relationship up a little bit. We're gonna go into this real hard and real quick. <laughs> um, chat about property values with him, and then maybe flirt a little. I don't want to like flirt too quick though. Let's see how well this goes over. Oh, he like. Oh, nope, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Um. Was someone at her door? Oh, Tomax. Well, maybe he can be. We'll we'll talk to him next. I want to get Justin though first since we, he's here. We'll just have to be like really um careful about how often we try to. Oh, look now he's flirty. What is this? Um. Throughout the conversation, Camden got the impression that Justin finds her unattractive, making her feel a little discouraged. Oh, he doesn't like us. But he's flirty. We're still gonna flirt. I've never seen that. That's definitely from Wonderful Whims. What is she? How does she see him? Does she see him as attractive? Perceived as very attractive. <laughs> she likes him. But he doesn't like her. Um. No, okay. We'll s we'll give up on Justin. Um, for right now. So we'll let him go home, and we'll try again with him later. I'm actually just gonna kick him out. Um, come finish your painting. Ah. Is he going home? Okay. So, come finish your painting and... Oh, wait, what's her personality? The idealist. Poetic, kind, and altruistic people 
Always eager to help a good cause. Popular hobbies include poetry, creative writing, music, photography, theater, and visual art. So this is stuff that's fun for her. Is this um, making paintings? This is normal. I don't think we need to put the fruitcake in the fridge. I do want to speed through so that we... Okay. So we're going to sell this to a collector. And we're going to go out. Once my game is finished loading. So we're going to just come down to Club Calico, I think. And we won't bring Justin. Um... So hopefully we can get someone down here, from down here to start our our challenge off with. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. um, I don't. I might change this later. We're gonna start though. Um, is there anywhere where we can get food at here? No? Well, this is kind of lame. Oh, here it is. Um, order food. We'll just grab some chips. Alright, who do we got coming in here? Um, Jacques Villarreal. We don't want him. Bajorn. We could use him. He might be a good... Sp yeah, because I don't think... I think Jacques is an elder. Right? Oh yeah, he's an elder. So while we're over here, let's introduce ourselves. Ah, no, sir. <laughs> oh wow, she just got like super romantic compliment. Let's just do that. She's really friendly with him already. That was quick. Ask about his day. Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't have jumped right into that. <laughs> that was a bad thing. Oh, hold on, guys. I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Uh, I had to help my grandmother. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, yeah, we're just talking to Bajorn. Um, let's ask him about his career. Oh, here, look, and we got Dominic over here, too. We can talk to him. She's so embarrassed. Um, I hate that this is so close here. And what are you wearing to swim in? And why are you... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's hitting her head. That's kind of sad. Um... <laughs> kind of want to add the romantic aura thing here, but we're not going to. I don't know what that's going to do. Why are we all so sad? <sighs> oh, he was into that one. Um, let's maybe try a flirt with Bajorn. And we'll get to know Dominic. Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, well, I guess we're not going to flirt with Bajorn. We'll discuss Dominic's interests. And we'll talk to Dominic then. It is really hard to get a dude in this. With this. Alright, we're just going to jump into it and flirt. I'm pretty sure Dominic is, um, single. We'll flirt with him and then ask if he is single. And that would be flattering. Um, 
Poplar. <laughs> She's still so humiliated. Hopefully she doesn't die of humiliation. Where are you going? You're not allowed to leave. Get back here, Dominic. We're not done talking to you. Ugh, why are all these men married? You know what? We're done. We're done. She's done eating. Um, We'll come here and go to the bathroom real quick. And then I guess we'll try again. We'll invite Dominic to our house. Okay. Screw it. We're going home. We'll pee at home. Where's our home? <laughs> uh, let's invite Dominic. Hopefully he's in our group. All right, well, we're gonna add him to a group. We're gonna use the toilet real quick. And then we'll come back out here and talk. And be friendly. We'll ask him about his career. Oh. The sound is so gross. Um, come out here and talk to him, please. Um, we'll flirt. We're just going to jump into this, because this is going to take forever if I go slow. We'll do the good old flirt and then be nice. Do you think I'm a good person? No. Oh, he does. Yes, Camden. Throughout the conversation, Camden got the impression that Dominic finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Good. So we got someone that likes us. So I think being romantic should work. I'm not going to go too far into it, though. Oh, he likes it. So maybe if we just keep flirting. It should be. Oh, we can already have our first kiss. That's good. And I just realized I didn't put a sink out here in the kitchen. Whoopsie. Oop, here, hold on. Let's get a screenshot. Let's get a good screenshot, even though this is kind of weird because they're two different heights. Okay, maybe not from that angle. We'll go this angle. I guess that works. <laughs> oh, I meant to unpause the game. Um... Just compliment. Oh, did we get a sentiment? Close. Oh, girl. Girl. Excuse you, why did you just do that? Um, that ruins the... Let's do... Do, 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 do. We don't want to ask him to be our boyfriend. We just want to 
get him to where we can woohoo and try for our baby. Um, can we not try for our baby anymore? We can only woohoo. Where is my try for baby option? I guess we can do a risky hookup. I'll have to look into that because I think that's a mod messing with it. So what mod? I don't know which mod I have that might be messing around with that. I will give them some privacy. Um, yeah, I don't know which, which mod is that? Hmm. Oh, I probably should have just had checked MC Command Center to see if she was pregnant. I don't want her to not be pregnant because she's going to be sad. Girl, stop it. No. All right, um, oops, no, don't sleep, don't sleep. Woohoo with Dominic. We'll just keep going. Um, I might need to get a computer for this lot because I don't, I don't know which setting that is, is messing with. It's definitely got to do with one of the, we'll just get a laptop. No, he is not allowed to leave. Let's say he is not allowed to leave. I don't care what's going on. We need a baby. This time I'm not going to have her take a pregnancy test. I'm just going to check MC Command Center. Pregnant. We are not. What the heck? Okay, something is wrong with my game. So I'm just going to end it here. And we will call it a day for right now. And hopefully in the next part I can get a baby. Um, I don't know why I can't try for a baby. I'm going to have to look into it. But yeah. So I will see you guys later. Bye.